Paging with Cisco Spark. So guys, today I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how to page through phones that are registered to Cisco Spark. I'm going to go through, give you a demo first, and then I'm going to go back in and show you guys how to actually set this up. So today what I have set up in front of me here is a fake furniture store that I made up. I've got a couple phones registered in different departments. So I've got my white phone over here that's maybe in the front end, and I've named this one Register 1 because it's sitting right next to the register. I've got another phone over here, and this one is actually in the bedding department. I call it the bedding phone one. And then I've got two phones over here that are in the warehouse, maybe attached to different pillars or on a desk somewhere back in the warehouse. And, you know, you have different scenarios, and, and the way that I set this up here is my speed dials on the phone. So I'll, so I'll show you guys what the phone looks like here on the one that's sitting next to the register. So how I set it up was... I linked my paging groups to speed dials right here. So I have the speed dial right here that pages the warehouse and then one right underneath it that pages the bedding department. So I'll throw some calls in here so you guys can take a look at what this is like. So first, you know, maybe someone comes in, they say, hey, I'm looking for a new bed. I didn't see anybody back in the bedding department or I need to, I need to page somebody in the bedding department. So as a front end by the cashier here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this phone go off hook and page uh, directly to it. And to do that, we're gonna just hit the speed dial here. And first, first thing you guys heard is the double beep. So beep, beep, there's a page coming through, phone went off speaker phone and is blasting it off. There's nothing actually displayed on the phone right here. You guys will notice that it automatically goes into a mute. You can't talk back to this page that's going on right now. And the call is live. You can see there by the green speakerphone button um, that's right there. If you try to unmute it, it won't let you. It'll actually tell you that this feature is not active here. And I just muted this so if you don't get any feedback, but by a new year, you can see page one, two, one, two three, three, customer looking, looking for, for somebody, somebody back. Betting. All right, and we'll end this here, and I'll hang up. And there's a real quick example of just paging somebody in the betting department. Now let's say I've got someone that just came in through the front door, and they're here to pick up their couch that just came in. I need to page somebody in the warehouse um, to call me to make sure that, that the couch is here. So in order to do that, we're going to page the warehouse this time, which is a speed dial up there. You can see both phones went off hook there because I have those together in my paging group. And I'm going to pick up the phone here, take this off mute. Warehouse well, call, please call the front end. There's, there's somebody, somebody here, here to pick, pick up, up their, their couch. couch. And you can see that both phones blasted out that message. Um, let's say there's somebody that's uh, real close to this phone here. I started talking. They're, they're saying, oh, I don't need to listen to this. They could actually end it if they wanted to, but this page still stays live on this phone over here. So I can, I can still, still talk. talk. This one's not receiving the page anymore because they, they ended it, and this one still is receiving the page, and it's going out. And we'll show you guys now here, too, from the warehouse. Maybe for some reason they needed a page the entire sales floor, so I've got these in my, my sales floor group right here. And I can say, okay, I want to page the sales floor. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that speed dial. Pick up, and, and now we are paging, paging the sales, sales floor. floor. You can see the betting phone and the register phone are both lit. And calls are going through. The page is going through. And we'll hang up there. So that's just a little demo on how the paging works. I'm sure there's a million different ways you could set this up for any type of organization. But now let's take a look at how to actually program this and configure this inside of Spark. So to get this set up, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and take a look at our services here. Go into underneath call, take a look at features. And this is where we previously set up our auto attendant and hunk groups. And now there's a new option right here at the top, paging group. So if I click on that, it'll filter on all the paging groups that I have available right here. 
Um, I went ahead and I deleted the warehouse paging group. I still have the sales floor, the betting one uh, live here. But to show you guys, we'll create the warehouse one and we'll get that white phone paging in. So we're going to click new here at the top and we want to do a paging group. And now we name the paging group. So we'll just name it warehouse. Click next. Now we need to give it a directory number or a paging number um, for a phone to call, and that's what actually takes phones off hook and, and does all that. So we're going to put in here 4500 is a paging number. So any phone that calls 4500 gets this paging group, and those are the phones that are part of this group that, that hear the message. So we'll put that number in here. Now we need to add my phones to that paging group. And I only want my two warehouse phones as part of this group. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say warehouse. And what it's going to do is going to go ahead and search. And it's going to see warehouse pillar one phone and pillar five phone. So let's add pillar one first. And we'll go back in and we'll add in pillar five. And we'll hit create. And now at this point, we're done. I can go ahead and I could dial... I can take this off speakerphone and I can dial 4500. And you guys can hear the two warehouse phones over there. They went off hook and they're blasting out the paging message. We can go back in and if I needed to edit this for some reason, I can go ahead and click on the pencil here. And I can update this. I could change it. I could add more members to this group. Maybe we add another phone in here. Uh, I got. I need to get uh, warehouse pillar three phone in here. I just add it right, right directly here. So if you want to leave it as directory numbers and extensions, you can do that. Where I got a little fancy before, and I had the speed dials there. So in order to do that, you can go back to either your user or place, and we can add that speed dial for that user. So under places, I'm going to go to my registry phone here, or phone that's by the register. And we'll find that guy here and just click on it. It'll pop up under devices here. Click call. And then I have the option for speed dials. Click speed dials. And then right here, I'm going to actually go ahead and create a new speed dial. Add speed dial. And for this one, I'm going to call it warehouse. And I need to select the number here. So I'm going to go down to custom. And I'm just going to put in 4,500 because that was our paging group. Click save. And now we're pretty much done. So in a second, we'll see the white Cisco phone here flash over with the updated speed dial. Okay. And there we go. You guys can see now I have the warehouse speed dial on here. So I'm going to go ahead and press it. And we're... And we're live. You heard the two phones go off the hook, and the page is coming through. So that's it. Really cool feature that was uh, recently added in here and very, very easy to set up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thanks a lot.